In a sleepy market town in southern Gloucestershire, Evie lives with her mum, Kirsty, and stepdad, Ash. At just 16 years old, Evie weighs 21 stone and 6 pounds. Kirsty weighs 20 stone 13, and Ash weighs 19 stone 10. Collectively, they are a staggering 60 stone. I would describe myself as fat and obese. It frustrates me how big I am. I hate my body. I've got like really bad bingo rings and all of this is just fat. I don't like my massive thighs. My cheeks are so chubby and how I've like formed the double chin in the past like three months or how my stomach sticks out so much and how like wide I am. I can't properly see my toes. I'm just so far overweight, especially when I'm only 16 years old. And if things don't change soon, the weight will keep piling on and on. Does anyone want any more? Yeah. I've always been overweight from a young age. There isn't a time in my life where I remember being skinny. I was always podgier or chubbier than all the other kids. And over the years, it's just increased, like I've just got bigger and bigger. Large portions aren't all Evie's developed an appetite for. She's also inherited her mother's sweet tooth. We're like a pudding family. We always have a pudding, cheesecake, chocolate, ice cream. Sprinkles, whipped cream, sauces. <laughs> <laughs> it almost looks like a super deluxe, yeah. one of those big, like, Sunday things you have when you go out. <laughs> Been waiting for the dessert all day, haven't you? Their mega desserts have become something of a family tradition. I don't really know where it's come from, do you? Yeah. <laughs> it's not for me. See, everybody blames me, but they've all got to take their own responsibility. Yeah. She's trying to give us food because she wants to make us happy. Yeah, that's what makes us fat. I'm not saying it's her fault, but it kind of is. I don't like other people being around and judging me. I don't like gyms, because like, even if you're saying people aren't looking at you, I feel really insecure and I don't... I just hate it. Do you like me? You haven't got any confidence no. at all. It just stops you from participating in loads of things. But, you know, once we've built our confidence out, you'll be walking through that door and you'll be ready to go. You've got to try it. Thank you very good. I've only ever been to a gym once in my life and I never went back. <laughs> so I totally get where you come from. I think I hate gyms as well, but I just want to, like, change our lives for the better. No one said it's going to be easy. We know it's not going to be easy. But if I can do it, love, you can. I was quite upset with how Evie was and reassured her that we're going to be doing this together. You're not going to be on your own. I'm going to be here by your side supporting you 100%. If nothing else, we've got to give it a go, haven't we, yeah? Yeah. Come on. In my head, I overthought it. I think I might have just got too anxious. I needed a moment to think to myself, you know, what I'm actually doing. But I would definitely say that it was quite frightening for me, just doing that first step. Having plucked up the courage to enter the gym, Evie and her family are put through their paces by trainers Dan and Jade. What we're going to do is a three-minute step test. This is going to help me test your cardiovascular fitness. Mum and Ash are up first. The three-minute step test involves stepping up at 96 steps per minute on a 12-inch step. I'm physically struggling to my leg up. And at the end, we record their heart rate, so that lets me see what kind of fitness level they're at and what things I'm going to be able to program for them, what's going to be too easy, what's going to be too hard. Kirsty's post-step test heart rate was measured at 126 beats per minute. For a woman of her age, it should be 118 and Ashes is only slightly lower at 120, putting them both in the poor category for their age and gender. I was very surprised actually at the shape they were in and their fitness levels are incredibly low. We've got a lot of work to do. Ready, Evie? So I didn't want to do that. You don't want to do anything. You've got to yeah. give everything a go. Working in the gym is going to get your cardio fitness better and get your heart rate down, so it's all going to benefit all of us, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Nothing to be scared of. You can do it, OK? You can do it. Come on, if I can do it. A lot of the time, we've tried to start something like this, but we've just not been in the right frame of mind. One, two, three, four. Three, two, 
one course. Take a seat for me. Let's do that pulse. Find that hard? At uh, the end, yeah. Yeah. Okay. After Kirsty's and Ash's poor results, will Evie's be any better? How'd you find that? The last 30 seconds, I can find myself like really getting out of breath. So your result was 150 beats per minute, which puts you in the very poor category. Mm. But don't <laughs> worry, because you're in the right place. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a lot better next time. Cool. Good work, everyone. Well done. Evie's results were actually the highest out of the whole family. Her heart rate was 150 beats per minute, and we're looking for anything around 100 to 110. So we're 40 beats over where we should be. I think she was expecting it to be high, but I don't think she was expecting it to be quite that high. So I think it's a little bit of an eye opener to the work we've got to do. Six weeks ago, Ash weighed in at 19 stone and 10 pounds. There's that, and then let's see what it says. Eighteen five and seven eight. Woo! That's amazing. Ash has shed one stone and four pounds, weighing in at just under eighteen stone six. Are you with that? Yeah, you should yeah. be. Yeah. It's just amazing what you can achieve when you focus your mind on it. At the start of the diet, Kirsty weighed 20 stone 13. What do you think of that? It's really bad. Have six weeks of smaller portions, long walks and gym sessions paid off. That's good. Right, ready, guys? Yeah. Oh, dear. Well, oh, well, my God. What's that? 19, 5 and 7 eighths. That's amazing, man. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe that. I never, ever would have thought you could lose that much in six weeks. I know, it's bad, isn't it? I think I'm actually in shock. Kirsty has smashed it, losing a stone and a half. She's gone from 20 stone 13 to just under 19 stone 6. If you had said to me six weeks ago, this is where you're going to be in six weeks' time, I would not have believed you. You want to do a little yeah. dance now? It was just a really, really great feeling. I feel better than I have done in many years. <laughs> I feel amazing. Yeah, okay. well done. Thank you. Finally, it's the moment 16-year-old Evie has been waiting for. From struggling to even enter a gym, to working out twice a week, from eating too many calories, then too few, it's been a journey of highs and lows. Well then, Evie. Six weeks ago, she weighed in at 21 stone and six pounds. How do you feel about that? It's not very good, is it? Evie has lost a lot of weight. Um, she noticeably looks slimmer on her hips and her waist. What is it? A 1912. Wow. wow. Amazing. One stone, eight pounds. Wow, that's amazing. Evie's lost the most, dropping an incredible one stone and eight pounds. In just six weeks, her weight has plummeted from 21 stone six to 19 stone 12 pounds. How did that make you feel? Amazing, really. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to be in the 19 stone where I've got that. Yeah, you can. <laughs> I've reached my goal at the end of the six weeks and I'm feeling really happy that I'm 19 stone 12. You can just see it in her face. She's just got that little sparkle back. I feel like I've got my little girl back again and that's just amazing. So proud of you. That's brilliant. I feel confident, I feel more brave, I'm not as insecure and doing it with my mum saying that she's not insecure and she's more confident makes me feel more confident. Having that positive energy around the house, it's really good. Me not being cooped up in my room all the time and actually coming downstairs and socialising. Kirsty, have you got any sixes? This process has definitely brought me and my family closer together. But we are getting a lot closer and we're there for one another more. When I've said to her in the past, you know, it's your fault I'm fat, I shouldn't have. It, it is my fault I'm fat because if I didn't want to have the things that my mum did offer, I should have just said no. It's the little choices or little decisions that you make that do have the massive impact, whether that's dieting or just life choices in general.